Well, we got the new trailer for The Flash yesterday and we got all kinds of new interesting details. Not only did we get our first look at Sasha Kelly zooming around in the skies, we got an idea of the Flashpoint storyline, General Zod, but most importantly, Michael Keaton is back as Batman. And since then, what everybody's talking about are all of those Batman suits. So let's take a couple minutes to break all the suits down, what I think I saw, and how they all tie back to the original series and some of its toys. Well, we got that new Flash trailer, and about 20 seconds into the trailer, we started getting peeks at some of Batman's costumes. Now, if you're a fan of Batman over the years, you know Batman is pretty famous for having multiple suits, and this movie seems to be fully embracing that. Since then, we've gotten a lot more information about what these costumes are and the little intricacies of them, so I thought we could dive into each and every one of them and talk about them all. Now, front and center in the shot is the Batman suit from the Flash movie. That's pretty simple. This is the costume Michael Keaton will be wearing in this film and was featured in the trailers. It's not a bad design at all. Although, personally, I like a yellow belt on Batman, but Batman in all black with just the symbol is still pretty classic, and the suit looks great. I will say, I did find it pretty funny that Michael Keaton still can't move his head in the costume, but that was something that was tied closely to the original series, and I was really glad they decided to do that. Now we're going to go from left to right in the background and check out each suit. Now, the first suit on the left is what many people are calling the Armed Batman suit, or a suit that harkens back to some of the comic runs like Batman Year 2. Now, the suit seems to feature two under-the-shoulder pistols, but there are some intricacies with the suit that were revealed by the suit designer himself. Now, that's right, Chris Weston, who actually worked on this suit, took to Twitter shortly after the trailer and gave us a couple of details that are pretty interesting. Now, first and foremost, those are not pistols. Those are grapple guns, and this is something the costume designer made pretty clear. So people worried about this variation probably should relax a little bit. Now, there really is an interesting homage in this costume that many didn't notice, and that's the bat symbol. That bat symbol on the suit, as confirmed by the costume designer, because it was his idea, is the Batman 66 version of the symbol. A great little nod to the classic TV show. Now, one of the other suits everybody are talking about is the next one moving to the right, and that's a classic comic gray and blue suit with the yellow symbol. Now, many people are calling this the comic suit, and honestly, I think this suit looks great. Traditionally, in the comics, Batman is in blue and gray, where on film it's often a lot of black. This suit seems to fully embrace the classic comic look, and I'm actually kind of hopeful we get to see Michael Keaton put this particular one on, but I probably shouldn't hold my breath. Now, this wasn't the only gray costume in the trailer. We got a quick shot of Ben Affleck in action, and he was also in a totally new Batman suit. If you give it a freeze frame, you may notice some interesting texture on his chest and legs, seeming like there's straps holding on armor and maybe even holes holsters, but this suit also appears gray, and the cape and cowl also seem to have a little bit of a bluish tinge. It could be the way the trailer was produced, but also could be a nod to the classic gray and blue costume that get, that has me pretty excited. The next two suits are from the 1989 Batman movie, and the next one is from the sequel, Batman Returns. Both suits are exactly as we remember them from those series, and it's pretty cool that they stuck these in there, because they really do help fill that timeline going way back to the 80s and early 90s that this version of Batman has spawned from. Now, after these two suits, this is where it starts to get, well, a little more interesting. Now, the next suit appears to be some sort of underwater suit, featuring a full scuba mask and some breathing gear built right into the costume. I also noticed there's no cape with this one, which would make a lot of sense if you were taking it underwater, and I'm not too sure what the two pieces sticking out the top of the suit are, but they could be some underwater propulsion system we're not aware of. The suit looks pretty cool, and it makes a lot of sense that a Batman in a world with no metahumans would need to be able to go underwater. There's no Aquaman, so this suit being there is pretty great. Now, the seventh and final suit, to me, looks like an Arctic suit. Now, many people have speculated because the mask has those goggles on it, this could be some sort of desert suit, like Ben Affleck wore in Justice League. But... Looking at the costume, I really, really don't think so. First and foremost, the chest piece on this costume is very light colored. You will notice it's much lighter than even the gray costume, suggesting it might even be white. We just can't totally tell because it's in the shadows. Now the second little detail that makes me think this is an arctic suit and not a desert suit is the cape. 
Notice that this cape is not really a cape, it's more of a hood. And although it would be applicable in either an arctic or a desert situation, given the white chest plate, I really do think that's the direction we're leaning. You could totally see Batman needing to pull a hood up over his head to hold the heat in, in an arctic situation, and this seems to fulfill that. Now another reason I think these are both an underwater and an arctic suit, because in the line of action figures from 1992 were actually two versions of the Batman costume that were called Deep Dive Batman and Arctic Batman. Now whether these suits are actually a nod to those, I don't know, but these action figures were based on the original Keaton movies, so this is sort of an interesting little tidbit that I found to be pretty fun and interesting, and makes me consider the possibilities of seeing some of the other suits like Air Attack Batman or even Laser Batman. Now, like we said, there was a lot of stuff to take away from this trailer, and there's a ton of full breakdowns, but I didn't see anybody really just talking about all of these new Batman suits, so I wanted to dive into that a little bit. I actually think we'll see Keaton wear more than one suit in this movie, and I do like the one we see him suited up in. All this is going to be really great, and something for all of us to be pretty excited for. I'm looking forward to The Flash, and hoping that Ezra Miller continues his recovery, so this, so this film is the doorway to something very positive.